Okay. Let's see how far back I can get here. Alright, here's the cabinet. Okay, these hardware on the door. If you're gonna have snakes in here, they're gonna get out up here, right through there. Also, the shelf to the window. I don't know if you can see this, but you can go down into the next uh, unit. Um, it's all solid back here, the back wall. There's, they ain't getting anywhere. Uh, let's see. This piece can be glued back here. That's why I put it there. You might want to watch down here. And they could probably do that too. And the other side, you can fit your hand down between the window here and the shelf. Up here, no. They're, they're good. They won't get out of there. Okay. That's the top unit. Uh, that's top unit. Now we're going to go down to the second one. The second one. Oh, I'll show you the doors when we're finished. The second unit is pretty much the same. As you can see, there's a uh, one inch, one and a half inch gap there that they can get down um, they could get down if you tighten the back the back wall if you uh, throw a few nails in it uh, it'll be tighter but they can get down and go into the third unit watch this you know, this this can be filled Uh, this is pretty tight here because the wood is uneven. The fixture I have here, I believe this is cut. I want to see. just want to see if this is cut or not. I right, know, maybe it's not. Alright, so maybe this fixture is actually going. Uh, but there's a hole in the back here for the plug. That's going to have to be tighter if you have snakes. Uh, again, the other side. You have a gap of about an inch uh, that they're going to get down. They are going to get into the third unit. Okay, let me check this out. Here's the third unit. Third unit, same thing. I think I think they're all. Now that I'm looking at it, I think they're all the same thing with that gap. You you got a gap here that's pretty good. You know you can get your two fingers here and better two fingers there. Um, Right here in the middle column, you can fit, see that, they can get down, and there is a gap in the shelf on the other side too. I want to see. Now you're talking about the last unit, the final unit. Um, I have a dragon that has a neurological problem. So what I did was I put a, a little lip up so she didn't flip uh, into the the uh, crack here in, in any way so I put this lip up for her again you have a, the gap here shelf in the wall uh, the back there's a gap gap here so you're gonna have to fill these gaps on the side of uh, each uh, shelf now here's the other thing, the doors. The doors are going to need to be sealed shut. They were, I had magnets and I also had a Velcro that really worked well. But through the years, as this thing was moved around and kind of beaten up there, well moved around, not beaten up, uh, it did get uh, damaged and uh, I did take some of the uh, the um i took the magnets off i don't remember why but i took some of the magnets off they used to snap 
and I used to have them tighter with the Velcro. It worked great. Um, but the snakes will push right out of there. So you're going to have to do some repair work. But again, this is why the cabinet isn't four to six hundred dollars. It's only uh, two hundred. I'm asking. This is on purpose. There is a hole down here because I had a stereo unit in here, and this was the sensor for the remote control and the stereo unit. This is storage down here. That's all storage for any. Uh, food supplies totes that you want to fit under there or you can do a stereo unit i had speakers on each level up here i don't know if you could see that but all up there is um i put carpeting from my cat many years ago uh, when i first built this i had a cat and i actually put a little condo cat condo up there for her because she loved the dragons this is the back of the unit if you can please I hope you can see this the back of the unit because it's been moved it needs it needs to be tightened with nails that's not a huge deal to tighten out with nails so the back will be nice and secure um, but I do have uh, plywood for you I have a dyed piece that goes with the cabinet so if you need something to match it's up here and it's yours for free you know I'm, I'm giving what I can here um, also I'm giving another piece of plywood here so you can have that to fix I'm giving some extra um, carpeting which is about 20 bucks in the store you can get a whole big roll and redo it I do have some bulbs to give and I do have some of the fixtures that in the move here and there, um, as you can see, this, it just needs to be glued back and, and it, it'll be fine. But I'm not putting this stuff back on because if you have to move it again, I don't want anything to fall off. I, I want, you know, you to be able to fix it and have it done. Okay, that is the dragon cabinet. Sucker is huge. Um, needs some fixes, but make it your own you know make it your own it's a very good cabinet the thing is on six wheels and uh i hope you all like it